Khair, inshallah. Uh, second question, brother. We have a question over here. Uh, the second question is here. Can I have the mic on? You're going to get me locked up today. Yalla, please. How can we give nasiha to the people who copy and paste Quran and Hadith without any reference to ulama to okay. get their point presented? Brothers and sisters, Imam Malik, he says, Knowledge is religion. So be cautious where you get your knowledge from. Islam is not something you read and you put together and you know, okay, that's how I understood it. That's not Islam. You can't go into the lab of chemicals and throw this chemical, okay, that's it, go and that's it. It doesn't work that way. You have to be qualified to understand the Quran and the Sunnah. You can't just read the Quran, you can't just read the Sunnah and walk away and say, I understood it that way. Who are you to understand it that way? You know, the Sahaba, the ones who experienced the Quran again being revealed and the Sunnah being spoken by the Prophet and the best of Arabic language, they used to differ with one another. A Quran and Sunnah is not easy to be understood just like that, especially if you don't have the Islamic background, especially if you're not, you know, well equipped in the knowledge. And this is only ignorant people, you know. Ignorant people only say that. Ignorant people say, okay, when you understand the Quran and Sunnah, how this Quran of Sunnah, to be understood, you realize it's a big door. Imam Shafi'i says, every time I increase my knowledge, my knowledge of me lacking knowledge increases. Every time I realize that I don't know much. But the jahil, the ignorant person, the smaller knowledge he's got, he thinks he knows everything. A jahil, an ignorant person, when he knows little, he thinks he knows a lot. When he doesn't know anything. Imam Shafi'i says, I know a lot, and every time I think I know a lot, I realize I don't know anything. So understanding the Quran and Sunnah is got to be to the scholars. Do you ever, if your mother or your father get sick or your own daughter or son get sick, do you say to them, you know, I think the best medicine for you is this one. You take them to the doctor and whatever the doctor prescribes for you, you don't even question him, you don't tell him what's your dalil. Tell me what's the proof that this is the best medicine for my son. You know, get me the proof from the university. No one does that. But you know that he is qualified, he is equipped, he knows, you go with it. Subhanallah, these are people that we trust with our bodies and we don't put our bodies in any person's hands. We put our faith in anyone's hands. Now, Ikhwani, you need to seek, if you want to know Islam, get it from the mouth of the scholars. Learn it from the scholars. Who is a scholar? I assure you, the one that reads from books and never attended a university of Islamic university or sat in front of scholars is not a scholar. Don't even listen to him. I'm telling you that. Let it be whoever he is. Okay? A scholars always reject someone who just reads from books. A scholar is someone who sat before scholars, with scholars, attended with the scholars, learned from the scholars, heard from the scholars, and not went for one or two months in the, in the past. They would never accept someone to give fatwa until he sat down with a scholar for 20 years. These days, 20 days, and the guy thinks he's the mufti. You know? A scholar is someone who sat with scholars, learned from scholars, heard from scholars, and was there for a reasonable time where he sat down with them, learned from them, and at least, you know, obtained ijazat or obtained understanding from them. But someone who just reads books, and because he's loud and that, you think he's not a scholar. This guy is he's dangerous. He's a bomb, this guy. He's, Allah Alam is going to be exploding. You know? So watch out where you learn your knowledge from. Watch out where you take your knowledge from. You only take it from scholars who learn scholars. These days we have a lot of da'is. We have a lot of people, especially English da'is, but a lot of them are not scholars. It's good to take da'wah from them. Not more than that. When it comes to technical things in the sharia, don't take it from them. And I believe if they respect themselves, which most of them do, they don't say, they say, look, I'm not a scholar. I know how to give da'wah, talk nice talk here and there. That. But, you know, a scholar is someone that sat down, studied, went to Islamic institutions or Islamic, univer Islamic university, sat down with the scholars, learned from them. But someone who just reads from books. You know, subhanAllah, if your own father has been reading bo uh, books of medicine for 20 years and you get sick, oh, I'm sure you're, never gonna, you're, not, you're not gonna ask him for any medicine because he's never, sat, or he's never went to a hospital and learned from the doctors. So same thing, a scholar is someone who learned from scholars, who sat with scholars, been taught by scholars, and has been there for a reasonable time, not one or two years. Years, I'm talking about in the past 20 years. You know? Now.
Bishop, Bishop.